what's up guys Mindy here uh, just a quick reply video to Tom Holland I um, did his lift again the pronation lift and I managed to go up uh, by a couple kilos now it's at 52 kilos uh, take a look at it here Fifty-two kilo. So as you can see, I am of course struggling a bit, uh, trying to not get my back pulled or something. Uh, I would really hate getting injured at this point, just uh, three weeks away from the competition. Uh, so I will not go any higher than this. Uh, I feel it's very close to my max and I think it's probably quite close to Tom's maximum. Um, but yeah, my conclusion after these two lifts, uh, the pronation one and also the posting top roll one, I can see that Tom is lifting uh, a little bit too, uh, too much. So uh, but what can we do? Let's see what happens in an actual arm wrestling match. Uh, I have also seen a couple of his uh, table time practices couple of his recent practices and uh, it looks like he's really getting very similar to me somehow the style he's sitting in these longer matches he is uh, controlling their opponent's hand not really going too deep I wonder if he's planning to top roll me or is he still going to go in uh, but yeah I guess I will be ready in both cases the pl plan A is still to dominate his hand and um, pin him quickly. If that doesn't work, we will um, go into war, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, that's it about Tom Holland. We also had a couple good matches this weekend in uh, Ukraine. Levan Saginashvili versus uh, Dave Chafee. That's a pretty big one. And uh, Levan was very strong, very strong. Such a convincing win. I don't think it's very, it's quite rare to see these dominating victories uh, at that level. But clearly, but Levan is just too big, too strong, and it will be very tough to find an opponent for him in the, in the upcoming years. Um, but yeah, I guess it's pretty cool to have such a guy at the top and um, everyone clearly will clearly understand that he's the best now. And I think in some way it's pretty cool to have one clear leader. Um, another match was uh, Irakli Zirakashvili versus Dan Moju. And um, uh, before the match I was a little, I was doubting Irakli a little bit because um, I was not sure of his uh, um, his power was following his weight or not you know sometimes you get a lot of some, some of these people are gaining weight quickly but maybe the power is still not necessarily jumping at the same rate uh, but luckily Dan Mosier um, I think Dan Mosier found his um, found a big problem with his style. He has a good uh, attacking style, very aggressive, straight to the pad. But then, if it doesn't work, then you end up in a little bit of a shitty position. Um, and you could see that Irakli would always, whenever the match stopped, Irakli would was somehow in a much more comfortable position. 
and he was able to finish my matches. So he had two very impressive matches, it was cool to see them. And um, yeah, I'm still thinking about armors, getting ready for armors, and I'm pretty excited. Going to practice again tonight, and uh, I hope I will feel better and better in these last couple of weeks. So that's it for now guys, uh, see you next time, bye bye.